What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Uh, it's been a bit since I've posted, so I just thought I'd go ahead and update you guys on what's been going on, as well as pretty much an entire update on the Corvette, uh, what I've done to it so far, and stuff like that for people that are new to the channel, because I just hit 2,000 subscribers, which is awesome. Uh, I remember posting like videos years and years ago, back when I used to do like gaming videos whenever I was younger. I had like 70 subscribers and I thought that was great. So to hit 2,000 is just like ridiculous and I appreciate it for everybody that actually watches my videos. I really, really, really do appreciate it. But now that I've got uh, that over with, we'll get into the modification. So if you watched my last video, you guys know that it was the very, very first time that I went to the drag strip and I had a ton of fun. And since then I've actually gone two or three more times and I've enjoyed it so much so that I already invested in a set of wheels and tires for the car. So stock, uh, this car comes with 285 rear tires, which isn't wide at all. I wish Chevy would kind of go with a 305 street tire, even though radial is the better way to go. So uh, these are reproduction wheels from West Coast Corvette. They're 19 by 10 inches and the stock wheel on this car is 20 inches. So um, it's one inch smaller of a wheel, but the width of the sidewall makes up for the loss of height. And it has uh, Mickey Thompson ET Street SS, that's a mouthful, drag radials. Um, and they are 305, 35, 19. So they're a bigger wheel for the car, which helps out a lot, obviously. Uh, on the, my street tires, I was spinning like crazy at the track, even from like a low, low, low RPM at launch. And these, on my quickest run, which was 11.6 last week, I launched from 3,100, 3,200 RPM, and it didn't spin at all. So I'm going to the drag strip again this Friday, and I'll probably uh, bring you guys along and record a video there, because. Uh, now with the new wheels and stuff, I think that'd be pretty cool to record. But my quickest run has been 11.6 and it didn't spin at all at 3,200 RPM. So basically I'm just gonna keep moving the RPM up at launch uh, until the tires break loose. Cause essentially what you want is the highest amount of RPM without the tire spinning. Cause if the tires spin, then you're losing power at launch, obviously. All right, so now moving on to the rest of the car and all the stuff that I've done to it. Uh, basically this car stock, it didn't have the splitter, the side skirt, spoiler, stripe, anything. It was just completely base white Corvette. So I got this from a website called C7 Carbon. That's actually where I got the skirts and the spoiler from. And they're in fiberglass, painted in the carbon flash to match the rest of the black accents on the car. Um, they're the skirts, the Z06 style skirts, but this is not a Z06, Z06 style wing. It's actually uh, this company's own like uh, design which I actually like a lot more because this piece comes out a lot further and the spoiler just doesn't go straight up like the Z06, it actually goes out. Because if you don't know, the Z06's uh, spoiler actually creates a ton of drag, especially with the Z07 package on it with the increased like wicker bill um, pieces, it creates a ton of drag and actually slows you down in a straight line. So this is actually a lot better than the Z06 wing performance wise. So as far as aesthetics go, that's pretty much it other than uh, this sticker, which is actually where I got my uh, work done for the car because I have headers and stuff, which I'll show you in a second. And then this is my Instagram, go follow me on there. Uh, then the Jake Skull logo and then a Corsa logo because I also have a Corsa Extreme axle back uh, exhaust mufflers. These are the chrome black, um, sound absolutely great. And then if we pop the hood here, I have Cook's uh, one and seven eighths inch long tube headers, as you can kind of see in there, right there, which really, really woke the car up. I can't explain how much better the car sounds and how much different. It's so loud. I also uh, have it with have it paired with the Cook's Catless uh, X pipe. So it's even louder because it doesn't have any cats, but it does still have the Corsa mufflers because without the mufflers, there'd just be way, way too much drone. So if you're not familiar with Corsa, they kind of advertise that their mufflers are zero drone and they truly are. Even with the headers, there's zero drone at speed and the thing sounds absolutely great, which I'll actually demonstrate for you guys in a second. All right, so I'm just gonna use my remote start. As you can see or hear, it's uh, definitely loud and the video 
trust me, does not do it justice. My right ear is ringing as we speak. I wasn't gonna give it a rev because it's a little too cold right now, but I have a full video on uh, the day I actually got the headers on it, so if you want more clips like that, I'll link that somewhere here. But uh, yeah, so tune-wise and uh, performance-wise, I have the long tube headers, the Catless X-Pipe, and the Corsa mufflers. I uh, also have a custom dyno tune. So currently it's making 440 wheel horsepower. That's what the dyno had it at. I think it was 439, so like 440. Um, I definitely, definitely recommend headers if you're thinking about it for your Stingray because they really, really make the uh, wake the car up, especially with the tune. It's just complete night and day difference. So that's about all I've done to the car so far, but there are more modifications coming and I may actually be doing an E85 system here really soon. So if you're not familiar with E85, it's 85% um, ethanol and 15% gasoline and it has a higher octane level than uh, premium gas, so 93 octane, whereas E85 is more on like the 100 to 105 uh, as far as octane goes. Only like select pumps have it, so it's kind of a pain to ha get access to, but basically I'm gonna be running a flex fuel sensor, so I'll be able to run E85 or pump gas depending on um, what I want. So if I'm going to the track, I can fill up on E85, and generally it gives you anywhere from like 30 to like 40 on the higher end, horsepower just using a different fuel. So that should improve my uh, quarter mile times as well. That should be coming up here within the next few weeks, maybe next few, within the next month or so, I guess we'll see. But uh, if the math's right, which I believe it is, I should be at about 480 at the high end uh, wheel horsepower, which this car stock comes with about 400 wheel and advertised like 460 to, from Chevy. So. Um, decent amount of power and the thing is just blindingly fast stock but just with these simple modifications you can really 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 uh, open the car up and it's great so that's pretty much it as far as the Corvette goes uh, new videos coming soon though this Friday I'm going to the drag strip once again and I'm probably gonna bring my camera this time to record like my times and everything as well as there's actually a few uh, other people going with me this time one of which has a Hellcat Charger another has a, another uh, C6 uh, Corvette, so that'll be pretty cool to see what kind of times they run. Also, the uh, Lambo is currently in the shop, and we should be getting it back within the next few weeks, and when we do, I might film a video of uh, us going to pick that up, which would be pretty cool. Uh, I haven't really posted, like, pretty much any videos of that car, maybe only one or two, um, but we plan on taking to that car to the drag strip, actually, in the next coming uh, weeks or months, depending on when the car gets back which will definitely make for a cool video because at the drag strip you do not generally see that many exotic cars over there. So that would definitely be cool to post. But also something that I wanted to mention is my, uh, my Instagram. I just recently hit a thousand followers on Instagram, which is half as many as I have on YouTube. So that's pretty cool. And uh, if you want to follow it, I'll put the, my name up here. You can just go search that on Instagram. It's uh, at Wheeler, W-H-E-E-L-R underscore. So uh, go follow me on there if you want like pretty much like daily updates on the car because I post there pretty much every single day. So if, if you want to see like immediate posts, I would definitely go there. And one last thing I know I've been mentioning a lot. Uh, my brother actually has a YouTube channel. He does gaming videos, mostly Destiny if you've heard of that game. Um, but he posts some other uh, videos here and there. He currently has I think maybe like 60 subscribers. But uh, I would definitely appreciate it. I know he would appreciate it if you guys would go and check his channel out. Uh, I'll have the link or the name here as well as a link to his channel in the description of his videos. Uh, go check him out. He really, really puts a lot of effort into his videos, countless hours into his videos. And uh, he definitely deserves more recognition than he currently has. So uh, go check that out. I would really appreciate it. He would really appreciate it. But yeah, so that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up, comment, even subscribe if you guys want to. New video hopefully more videos coming here shortly and uh, yeah that's pretty much it I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you guys in the next one